Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black Sea, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin because we're in a very, very interesting spot in the market. We did come down a little bit yesterday, and I want to talk about that. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading underneath $66,000. We had a little bit of a dump. We came up on April 1st to about we, but we came down and we came up to about 69,000 and now we're back finding ourselves falling just barely below 66,000. I'm going to take a deeper dive into the charts here shortly, but I need to be honest with you guys. Right now, we are in some uncertain times. We could see a lot of shifty market behavior. And I'll talk more about that shortly. So Bitcoin dominance right now is at 52.04%. When you exclude stable coins, we're sitting at about 54% up a decent amount over the past week. We've Yesterday, we were up about 0.3%. We are slowly ranging higher on Bitcoin dominance. My projection is probably around 57% to 60% around the halving, whether that's a couple months after. But around that time frame, I do expect Bitcoin dominance to rally, especially when we see Bitcoin make these big, volatile impulse moves to the upside or even to the downside. You're going to see it garner some of that liquidity, either spook some people out of the altcoins when we see a dump, or when we make a move to the upside, make people feel FOMO, and pile into Bitcoin. So let's take a look at Bitcoin. Because we did wick down, all the way down to about 64,000, which did, didn't fill the CME gap. We do have a CME gap opening. Didn't fill it. If we would have come all the way down to 64,000, even it probably would have filled it. But we did fill a gap, partially. And not all the gaps need to be filled completely. They don't. It is actually a good thing that we're seeing a little bit of this gap being filled. That being said, right now we're looking at the daily. We're seeing some bearish divergence. We see a red dot here on the momentum wave. Money flow is kind of curling down a little bit on the daily. Short term, it doesn't look that great. It doesn't look that great. But I do expect, I do expect there to be a lot of shaky movements in the markets here leading up to the halving. I expect lots of volatility, lots of trickery. I expect moves to the downside, swift moves back up with another move to the downside, liquidating longs, liquidating shorts, kind of like how we saw it on our way to breaking the all-time high. We're still in that range, guys. We're still in that range. We have not broken the channel trend, and we've not broken the macro trend either. I expect this to continue. I expect this move to continue to the upside. Now, if we spill below 61,000, I may be a little bit worried for a longer corrective period. And when I say worried, I don't want to scare you guys because I'm still macro bullish. I'm still very, very macro bullish. 2024, I expect Bitcoin to make big moves to the upside to continue this bull market trend. But you need to know, when you zoom out, you look at the monthly, just because there's a bull market happening doesn't mean you can't see some big moves to the downside, some 30%, 40% drawdowns. Do I think that we're going to see a 40% drawdown? I think that's a stretch. I think it's a stretch from, from previous highs when we broke the new all-time high at about 74000 A 40% drawdown would bring us down to about 44, $45,000. Do I think that that's on the table? That would take a big, big, I, I don't want to use the word black swan. People use the word black swan left and right, but that would take an event to really shake up the markets for, in my opinion, to see that happen, to see that play out. I think there's a, there's a way here where we just trade sideways. 61,000 is an important price level in my mind. And below that would probably be around the 57,000. There's a lot of liquidity to be chased after around that $57,000 price level. But that being said, I'm short-term bearish. I'm, lo I'm long-term bullish. I expect Bitcoin to make bigger moves and new all-time highs after the halving here, which is coming up very, very quickly, guys. 18 days away. Seems like just yesterday, we were back at the bottom in November, dumping from FTX. 
I was talking about, you know, the having guys, the having. It's not that far away. It's not that far away. And now, well, we're knocking at the door. We are knocking at the door of the having. I expect volatility around the having. In previous cycles, you see a, a large drawdown leading up to the having. This was a back here. This was a this was a true black swan event. But usually, in cycles leading up to the having, you see a little bit of a drawdown. And yes, guys, we have had some drawdowns. We have had this was not. Nothing to scoff at. It, it, 18% drawdown. Before that, we had a 21% drawdown. We were getting 20% drawdowns on the way up, and that is healthy. That is healthy, guys. That is normal in a bull market. Is this the local top for this trend? Maybe. Is it the macro top for this cycle? Definitely not. I don't use definites lightly, but what we're seeing fundamentally with the halving, with the four-year cycle, we're seeing on the monthly with market cipher, we have more time to the upside, guys. We're seeing on the rainbow chart, a lot of the glass node metrics, higher, higher for longer. And like I said, that doesn't mean that we can't see some pullbacks, doesn't mean we can't see some corrections. Get some distribution. It's on the table. And I think that's exactly what we're seeing right now. And you know, everyone's freaking out about being at 64,000 right now, but <laughs> when you zoom out here and you realize where we're at, it is nothing. That is absolutely nothing. That little blip is absolutely nothing. It's very, very similar to this green box I had back here when we originally tried to break previous cycle highs back in 2020 on our way to 64,000. It's a very, very similar price structure. I think that the similar move is on the table. I've been talking about it for a while. Inside these green, the larger green boxes, 28 weeks of positive candle closures on the way to the upside after breaking highs. We still have time. We could definitely continue this move to the upside. I don't necessarily think we're going to come to 300000 in that time. Not in that short of a time frame. But I do expect bullish, bullish price action on the monthly. On the higher term time frames, it looks ready to go. It looks ready to increase. Be patient, guys. Be patient. Altcoins... Bitcoin decides to take a little bit of a tumble here, trade sideways. If it decides to come below 61,000, expect altcoins to come down a little bit. But if we don't break below 61,000, I expect sideways consolidation on Bitcoin with altcoins probably performing well. People will be done panicking and will probably start to trade sideways and altcoins will probably rally a little bit. But like I've been saying, we're getting closer to this halving, and I do expect around the halving, once Bitcoin really does take off, you're going to see that Bitcoin dominance rally. You're going to see it rally significantly. If you really want to maximize those trades, you need to be paying attention to it. But guys, if you like this type of content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Check out some awesome referral links we have down below this video in the description box. We have a $4,100 sign-on bonus to Femex. All you got to do is click the link, deposit, trade a little bit, get a bunch of free money. Also, go follow me on Twitter at 333BlackC. I'm very active over there, doing giveaways here and there. It's a lot of fun. But that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.